Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com along with Nick. There's his hands right up there and he's right over my shoulder. He's gonna start opening up this uh, 2021 Topps Series 1 Jumbo 6 box case. Pick your team number nine. As you can see, the next one is in the store already. Go get your teams. All card ship. And at the end, I'm gonna re-randomize or randomize everybody's names. Just pick your team. And the name on top is gonna get a uh, rip party pack, an exclusive rip party pack. I think Topps is gonna send these to us around next week or something like that. That'll be shipped separately from the break. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Pick your team number nine. I think I have the official printout right here as well. Six box jumbo, pick your team number nine. Thanks everyone for getting in, really appreciate it. This is just a straight up, everyone gets a shot at the pack. Yeah, all 30 names, everyone has a shot at the packs. Thanks everyone. I'll take those. All right, so we've got some silver packs here. I think I'm going to do these last. I'm going to grab this little stack right here. Plus that little stack. So good news is that all cards ship. So you can get the Future Stars, Aristides Aquino, all these rookie cards, of course. So I'm going to try to pull some of the, some of the top potential rookies here as much as possible. But in the interest of time, we're going to try to move this a little bit more, more quickly. And our first thing here is Casey Mize. It's a manufactured patch, but they still look really cool. Some of these could be autographed, as you've seen on our Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks, when we pulled that nice, nice one. Check it out, at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram. Yeah, posted to my trap. I think people thought it was game. Oh, uh, that, kind of... that was a tease. You weren't supposed to tell them. Oh, now they're not going to go. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, it was a mic trap. It was out of five. It was pretty nice, actually. What, oh, people thought it was game used? Yeah, so I got a ton of likes. I didn't hate it. Uh oh, oh, okay. Where in, the, where in the comments, everyone's like, oh, wow. Yeah, sick patch. Game, u game used patch. That's a nasty patch. All this stuff. Um, of course, the case breakers get it. All this stuff. Oh, right. It's our fault. Christian Pache could be one of the bigger names this year. Braves. Colin. Caldwell. Some, other, some clown commented. Oh, nice to see the retail products in your store uh, that you buy at Target and flip. I'm like, yeah, we don't do that. Oh man, Ryan Mountcastle. So, so people, people were hating on us, thinking that we were flippers. Yeah, they were like, oh. I remember you were selling these boxes from before I could find it at Target. Yeah, like you know? Oh, these are retail exclusive. I'm like, they're not retail exclusive. So you're wrong. There's Carter Keyboom to 300. A lot of a lot of misinformation that we have to battle out there, folks. Fake news out there. I mean, it's kind of. In the name, who commented that? Is he on our ban list? I don't know. I don't think so. No, he's not on our ban list. Maybe you should make it. Reminds me of Sneeze Rolson. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Uh, Cleve Stolson. Here, I'll flip, I'll flip the first letter of each <laughs> name. I don't think that per Eve Olson. Oh, I don't think that person's purchased from our site for a long time. For a very long time. Yeah. I don't want to totally call them out, but I thought that was a long time. Right? Yeah, that's not that's not fair. I wish there was a lane button on Instagram. Yeah, maybe not like a. It's just kind of like, eh, lame. Oh, and there's a Davy Garcia. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what people think we have. Like, like Nick has nothing better to do than to go to Target, like the five million targets there. We're trying to run a business here. Let's let's run to Target, spend day spend our hours work looking for retail stuff, just to make that small profit. Like that doesn't really make sense. We've got bigger fish for. We're trying to sell full cases of this stuff. All those ones are yeah. In South Bay, I don't think those cars are.
Yeah, a few of them just stopped selling Shane them. Bieber, 2021. Nice. Optic 5 is two spots up. That's going to be tomorrow, unfortunately, John. We think we are booked for the night. Especially with Optic with Optic 4 already taking us already to the 10 o'clock hour. Schedule's in the chat. But that'll be one of my first breaks of the day tomorrow once that sells out. Who is this song? I actually have another name pack for the band list. Oh boy, uh-oh. You need me to do in red, huh? Yeah, if you, if you, if you please. I'm waiting, waiting to see who's on this band list. This is the second half of the first box that we popped and open. We, we'll share, do... we share a name, it's just despicable. Am I gonna be disappointed? It might be a temporary band. Did we like him before? I don't wanna spell their last name. Huh, That's a that's a bummer. That's, that, that kind of bums me out. It might be a mistake. I think we've reached out. Let's see. Okay. All right. We've got a tiger here. We've got Jaimer Candelario. Candelario? Yeah. To 2021 for the Tigers. That will be for Matthew Stubblefield. Matt, you'll get all the Casey Mises that I'm... Will attempt to catch as much of as I flip through all of these. Joe Adele's supposed to be pretty good. There's a gold foil rookie right here, Brandon Belak. Got, there's the Casey Mize for you, Matthew. Sixto Sanchez is pretty good, too. I think jo oh, I was just going to say, there's Joey Bart, and he always seems to be paired with Dylan Carlson here. What's that? Oh, yeah, they are, huh? We got some good, good pairings there. We got Aaron Judge, piece of his jersey. Going to Russell and the Yankees. Uh, exactly, Curtis. They, they just joke. Speaking of Curtis and his Blue Jays, he gets the Nate Pearson, the 1986 design. We'll set that aside. Those will get sleeved and top loaded before they're shipped out. Obviously, are all card ships, so anything I accidentally miss will be... Uh, be pulled either pulled by our shipping team or will be shipped in that stack. And we got a card that's flipped around, but not numbered or anything. That means it's a variation. So that is Manny Machado in golf pants. They did have the Petco Park driving range up for a while. It's true. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what Nick said. The Manny Machado variation for the Friars E8 with the Padres. one in Ontario too. Yeah. Will be El Segundo. Yeah, El Segundo in Ontario. El Segundo is gonna be early 2022. Where's the El Segundo one gonna be? Um, right next to the point. Oh, okay. Where are they going to do that? At the old golf driving range. They, they're oh, they're tearing that down. Okay, because so there's that really golf course there. The so they're upset. The citizens Because they, they're, they're... But the citizens, it went up to a vote. As patriotic as you get. And it passed. So. There you go. Imagine that. Can't complain too much. Because like all of the local, autographs. all the local golf teachers who teach golf will get fired and all that. Well, they can just work at the Top Golf. I don't know if Top Golf is going to hire <laughs> And I guess also there's um, there's a swan pond that is home to like 150 swans. That no, that's going to be torn down. 
See you later. What? Oh, wow. Or swans. And geese. Swan and geese, I guess. They'll find another place. And then my dad was like, swan or animals? And I was like, yeah, they kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> like, you saying they're like vicious animals? Yeah. Miss Kiever Ruiz. They're dirty. Spencer Javier, Christian. They're, it's actually not swans. It's only geese. I don't know why it says swans. There's Dylan Carlson to 75. Swans are a lot more elegant. I mean, geese are fine too. Geese are not. They, they're lame. They're lame, lame button? It goes ducks, then swans. Yeah, ducks are pretty cool. Then geese. Wasn't it a geese that got into Sully Sullenberger's plane? Um, I think it was a and, pigeon. And he had to land it to, on the Hudson? I don't think they're not big enough. A pigeon? Yeah, yeah it wasn't a pigeon. Francisco I Lindor. I think, it was, I think they were geese. It was geese, yeah. But like a flock, so it's like a lot of these big fat geese. Terrorist geese. Just terrorist geese. I don't know. Hut, New York Hudson geese. Gross geese. New York geese. Terrorist geese. Yeah, a bunch of terrorists. Praying to whatever weird geese god that they pray to. And these geese were like, yeah, for, for the geese god. We're flying to this engine, making Sully land in the Hudson. Everyone's freezing. It's cold. It was wintertime, right? Yeah, it's middle of January. All right, we got uh, Luis Patino. Maybe they were Canadian geese. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Courtesy unit. Do you know these kind of geese? Flying inside engines for the, after takeoff. 14 out of 70. Shohei Otani. Angels. Ross with the, the next, halos. The next word you say might end you up on the no flowers. <laughs> Tom Hanks as Sully was kind of whack, to be honest. You didn't like Tom Hanks as Sully? I don't know, the movie, it just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't do it for me. I was excited for that movie. Do oh, you think there was just too many, too many, like, too much courtroom stuff? Yeah, like Michael Rappaport was in it, it was weird. That was pretty good. At the bar scene, he's like, hey, Sully. I mean, I mean, inside that plane, I was terrified. I was like, I don't want that to ever happen to me. I didn't like the court stuff. Yeah, that, that got a little dry. But they couldn't really have made a movie without it. So. Right, you had to have that. Sets up all the action. Did he do it on purpose? Did he tell the geese to fly? <laughs> Did he tell the geese to fly into my engine so I could be the hero? Or like that he disobeyed the traffic advisory or something? Yeah, well, because they, they told him to... So he, they're going south, right? They they're told him to go that way, mm -hmm. or something like that. And then he's that like, "I'm true. never making." He's like, "I'm never making that airport. I'm Sully, you know. I'm I've been flying the the friendly skies. I'm a man. I'm Sully. For, I'm a, I'm a man. I'm Sully. Like I've been flying flying these these skies for like decades, and you're telling me that with one engine that I'm gonna make it to this other airport in a population dense area? Mm mm." No way, Sully said. Sully's like, landing on the river. It'll be just like, it'll be just like shooting womp rats in our T-16s back home. It's pretty crazy if you think about it. It's not like it was like a, it's not like it's a glider. <laughs> no, it's like a, what was it, like a, it's like a 737? Something like that. It's a big plane. Sean Murphy. Big catcher. For the Oakland A's, Yens with that autograph. There's Umberto Mejia, 
Gold foil rookie for the Diamondbacks. Arthur with that one. Does that new punch clock sing to us? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> it's, it's over? Yeah, when it yells at you? And we're like, well, okay, okay. I get it. Moving up in the world, folks. New punch clock at Jaspies. It's pretty cool. Is it pretty cool? I don't know. It's kind of scary. Is it kind of scary? I think it makes a louder noise. Yeah, so there's some some give and take right there. Yeah, nice Dylan Carlson. Yeah, I, I think Teddy was clocking out and it was just like. Rah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, it sounds like those. Uh, um, it sounds like uh, the monsters in that Tom Cruise movie where aliens come to Earth. Yeah, it's gonna be cool though because it calculates like hours and stuff. Oh, the other one didn't. Oh, it just punched, it just recorded the time, yeah. not calculate. Yeah. I get it, I get it. Yeah, no one knew how to change the clock on that. War of the Worlds, Curtis, right. You knew, you know the sound I'm talking about. <laughs> There's Mookie Beds. Wait, was that a variation? Yeah, yeah card 230, that's a variation. Dodgers, that goes to Jae Hoon. Yeah, that, that those those monsters are pretty scary. They, they 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 were like they had these big like discs and then they had like the scary things and then they had like the light that shot out. And then it was just like, bah! it's like one note, bah! terrifying. The movie scares me. Yeah, and Joe, what was the, what was the first time I did the train whistle? Train whistle has been around for a long time. Um, the train whistle. Maybe seven years ago? So pretty much tor uh, pretty much at the beginning. I think where did it, it, it kind of came from. It kind of came from Al, uh, Nick's brother, his name is Alex. So we, we, we would often call him the, uh, the A-Train. And we and we do a little woot woot with that. It's kind of kind of a thing that we do, and then it kind of crossed over into uh, into group breaks. We originally did the train whistle only, or I originally did the train whistle only for one of ones, right? But then that got to be too few and far between, and I got to have more train whistle, so we so I upped it. To uh, to out of fives, and that and that helped. I think there were there were some a few more train whistles after that, but not enough to be like annoying, you know. And it kind of stuck, and I think I think for the most part people still kind of like it. It's fun, gets the people going, gets me fired up. There's a nice uh, silver foil Joey Bart right here for the Giants. That's going to be for Richard. And oh, right, history of these history of tops cards, by the way, are going to be randomized to uh, to the second name on the list because we're giving away that Rip Party, uh, the Rip Party exclusive pack, and then the second name down, we'll get all these history of tops cards. What's more annoying, the sound or the red alert sound in the Imperial? The red alert sound that that sounds okay. Is that close? I don't think that was close. Does it go more like that? 
Mm. <laughs> Carter's gold is classic. Davey Garcia, rookie, Jorge Soler, and we got a Monty Harrison flipped around here. Nice one for the Marlins. Gregory. Was it close? All right, Curtis is a Star Wars guy. He says it's decent enough. Mm. 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 Do you hear Chewbacca back there? All right, no worries, John. Sorry about that. Yeah, we just we just ran out of we just ran out of time. Unfortunately, John, you are you maybe you're lagging behind just a tiny bit. box topper here. Juan Soto, Nationals, Josh Filo. All right, next stack. What's everyone's go-to Star Wars impression? That's got to, everyone must have a uh, a Chewbacca, right? In their in their uh, Star Wars arsenal, Star Wars voice arsenal. We got a silver foil, Eddie Alvarez, for the Marlins. You have, you, Curtis, you've got a good Palpatine and Yoda. I don't know if I... Yoda I can't do for some reason. But thinking about Palpatine is pretty funny. Order 66. I don't know. I have to have more gravel in the voice. So I don't know if I could do that right now. Well, Max got a good Yoda. Do, do it. <laughs> well, what what was the other line? It was at Ultimate Power where he's where he's zapping uh, Mace Windu. Ultimate Power. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> so if I if I get if I get a good good whistle embouchure going. Maybe. Please don't kill me. I'm too weak. Ah! <laughs> 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 no, there, no, no. Two ninety nine. No, Anakin, help me. Arenado going to the Rockies. Cynthia with that one. Kyle Lewis, your AL Rookie of the Year award winner. Oh, is it unlimited power? Unlimited power. <laughs> Adme, I can save her. Anakin, what are you doing? Mac McCarthy, I there there was a uh, thing maybe two, three, maybe three years, few years ago. There was a local bar that did a Star Wars trivia night, and. Uh, which which we did not win. There there uh, apparently there is there's just a lot. I thought I was decent at Star Wars trivia. No, I was absolutely wrong. I was we were just blown out of the water. We got our friends that all watch Star Wars and you know, I underestimated the 
the uh, the power of Star Wars nerds, who did not win the 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 elusive bar tab, but one of the I think there was like a, a side event or something like that where where you had to do your best Jar Jar Binks impression, or like read. I think you 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 pulled like random phrases like not not even Star Wars phrases but like everyday phrases out of a hat or something like that. And you'd have to do it in a Jar Jar voice. I did not do it. I was like, I don't have a Jar Jar voice. Well, you've done those two Star Wars trivia nights? Yeah. There, there are a lot of nerds out there. And I, I thought I was like... You know. And I like trivia nights in general. and I, I, It was really hard. How many ad at walkers fit inside an Imperial's cruiser? And I was like, what? Who knows that? And then they got deep into the animated series, which I had watched, but I didn't really think that that was in play. Ryan Mountcastle going to Nathaniel Smith and the Orioles. And there's Javier Baez. I think it was canon. No no books were involved, though. There's Hank Aaron for the Braves. Nice. That'll, that'll go to Colin. Pop this baby on a denim jacket. That'd be the coolest kid on the block. And then I think I remember one question where it was like... It was one of those things where like... You, you kind of know it, but you don't. Like, how many... Is the wing of a uh, of a Tie Fighter is it an octagon or a hexagon? So well, stuff like that, and I was like, I don't know. It's in kind of that shape. Should have had Curtis there. Hexagon, is that right? Should have had Curtis at that trivia night. For the yeah, whatever the standard your standard Tie Fighter. <laughs> What's the name of the lizards the stormtroopers ride? I don't I don't remember those those those, those guys. Put this break in my break log here too. Remember, folks, we are booked for the night. Check the schedule that's just dropped in the chat. Um, Bill Hader is a big... I think Bill Hader? Old SNL guy. He's on Barry now. Bill Hader, I think, is a big Star Wars fan. Nice Silver Joe Adele. And to 99, we got a... Oh, there's an autograph right there. And a vintage stock, Davey Garcia for the Yankees. Russell. With that one. Nice. And we've got, for the Brewers, Mark Matthias. Rookie auto for Patrick and the Brew Crew. The Lizards in, in, in what movie? We're not talking about... Are we talking about Tauntauns in Empire? Or are we talking about the Lizards? It's a facsimile autograph, by the way. Are we talking about the lizards in the prequels? When Obi-Wan was rushing around trying to fight General Grievous? Oh, in the desert? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, what are the what are those called? 
Bill Hader is a good tauntaun. Uh, has a good tauntaun impression, which I wish I could do. Facsimile autograph. Oh, dobacks? I guess I didn't realize those were dobacks. When they're looking for droids, and those aren't the droids we're looking for. You'll freeze to death before you get to the first marker. Mike Trout. Then I'll see you in hell. That's my that's my excellent Han Solo impression. Then I'll see you in hell. You'll die before you get to the first marker. Then I'll see you in hell. Maybe with a Harrison Ford point. And he does. That Bobby Dalbeck. That, that pal over there. And Joey Bart. That's a nice one, too. Future Buster Posey for the Giants. Richard Miller with that one. Next box. You know, believe it or not, I was never really, really a big Spaceballs fan. Didn't really do it for me. Bobby Dalbeck for Russell and the Red Sox. Another facsimile autograph. Did we see any Asian people in Star Wars until the sequels? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. They, they, they must have been on another planet. I guess the guys in the Trade Federation. <laughs> All right, and we got Matt Shoemaker to twenty twenty one. No, you don't think they count for the Trade Federation, okay. <laughs> Ewoks? Well, those are just teddy bears. You're right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were short. Hello there. You're right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were short. Eddie Alvarez. Marlene's. That'll be for Gregory Brode. I'm going to go with Brode on that one, Greg. Broad, maybe? I'm not sure if it's be Broad. I think the lack of the A in your name, in the last name, makes me think... It's Broad. So that's what I'm going to go with. Although, uh, I think multimillionaire, billionaire, philanthropist Eli Broad does have Broad. It just does spell it Broad, but then it's Broad. So I think his entire life he's like, it's Broad. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for the Obi-Wan series, too. Um, I think it's... Is it... F they're filming? 
I think they got all the whatever script issues that were allegedly a thing. And I think they've done some tentative filming for that. You hope that Grogu and Obi-Wan are friends? Does that timeline match up? Because the Obi-Wan series is supposed to be before the... If this, these are the main prequels, it's supposed to be before the prequels, no? Before? Or the before the before the, the original ones, 4, 5, and 6. I don't know. I mean, with the with the success of Grogu, though, I feel like they should just try to squeeze him into every into everything. Hello there. There must there's got to be a lot of hello there. And greater numbers. At first, I thought, Curtis, you wrote that you were looking forward to, to all the high ground. Here's a variation. It's Aaron Judge. All rise. Russell Thompson with the Yankees. There you go, Russ. I've got the high ground. I hate you. <laughs> so lame. I hate you. Yeah, the high Jedi stuff should be pretty fun, though. Well, I kind of feel like they should maybe just... Like Star Wars, maybe a little oversaturated on the Star Wars. Do they really need to do so much? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, lo I loved you like a brother. We were supposed to bring balance to the Force. Not destroy it. Ronald Acuna relic for Colin. There's a lot, I feel like there's a lot more history of tops cards than we than we normally see in a break. Christian Pache. Another silver Joey Bart. That's pretty cool. And to 300, Brett Gardner. This is Sparta. To 300 for the Yankees. That'll go to Russ. Josh Bell. These die cuts right here. That's Ichiro. I guess no one's really complaining about the uh, the series there. We got two more to go here. We got all oh, the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. He would live in hot. 
Yeah, the Luke CGI was a, was a little weird. I'm assuming everyone's seen the all of the Mandalorian. Spoiler alert. Or maybe I'm the one that spoiled it. Brian Hayes, rookie card. Someone was telling me that the uh, Pirates, uh, John Crawford, someone was telling me that Brian Hayes, you only see his rookies in this Series 1 as either this out of the silver pack or as a autograph. So I think his rookie cards aren't going to show up. The official base rookie cards aren't going to show up until uh, until Series 2 or something like that. So that's a that's a kind of a good one to get early on. He's supposed to be pretty good too. Curtis, did you see that? Did you see that? Uh, and I guess anybody else who's into Star Wars, anyone else see that? Uh, there was like some mild controversy that left Star Wars fans divided. Everyone was just like. It's like, oh, well, Grogu eventually gets killed by Kylo Ren when he destroys the temple. And I know this is already nerdy, but some of the, the super nerds are like, well, actually. Well, actually. In the, um, in the canon comic books, it actually says that he wasn't the one who actually brought down the, uh, the temple to kill everybody in Luke's Academy. Yeah, it was actually the work of you know, whoever. <laughs> it was actually the work of Palpatine from afar. He didn't mean to do it. <laughs> and I was like, alright, I feel like these were like Well, I mean, he, he doesn't, I mean, I guess he could, they could say that he escaped. Chances are it didn't. Well, those kind of Star Wars fans, Curtis. Well, actually. Oh right, right, right. I did. I did see the the uh, Cara Dune being fired. My one of my friends sent me a, a a picture of like like a Mandalorian opening scene, and like Cara Dune crashes in her X wing and dies. No more Cara Dune. Sorry. True. Yeah, he might. Yeah, Grogu might not even be in that to be in the academy. That's that's also true. This is dangerous waters we're treading on, Curtis, because I feel like I feel like we're going to get the uh, the ire of Star Wars fans in the uh, in the comments, which I don't even look at. So I guess it'll fall on deaf ears. But someone's going to be like, "Well, actually." You and this Curtis fellow are wrong. In the Mandalorian companion animated graphic novel, it says that Grogu actually was at the Academy. And I'll be like, oh boy, all right. Well, I'm just have, trying to have a light, light Star Wars discussion while we're breaking some series one, you know. It's appropriate. Tops has the Tops has the uh, Star Wars license for trading card. So go buy top Star Wars products. We'll have some. We'll try to find some, uh, make them available on jazbeescasebreaks.com someday, or jazbees.com. So it actually works. Am I ruining the whole Star Wars thing? Yeah. I try not to get into the to the to the I don't know. 
I guess that's that's the way. So where we're where, where we're at in pop culture. Hunter Renfro, not that Hunter Renfro, baseball player Hunter Renfro. Although I don't think I've ever seen them. I have actually. I was gonna say I don't think I've actually ever actually seen them in the same room together. But I think there was a social media post in the last year or so where a football player Hunter Renfro and baseball player Hunter Renfro like had a had a broy picture together, which is actually kind of fun. So I have seen them in the same room together. So, which eliminates the rumor that they're. Uh, one of those Renfros are playing sport. Yeah, getting into the weeds of the fandom. I mean, I, I, I watched the movies multiple times. I watched the show. I watched the animated show. I even audiobook some of the books. Even that was just really just kind of casual, just kind of falling asleep to some of those audiobooks. You know, I kind of get into it. But man, some people really get into it. I don't know what a Stargate is, but clearly not better. No, there aren't there aren't major streaming platforms, you know, saying, "Hey, come watch Stargate with us." Some people swear by Rex. What's the, what? There's another star show. Battlestar Galactic, Galactic, Galactica, Batter, Battlestar, something like that. I have friends who swear by that show. Some people, some people are like, I mean, that's the best sci-fi show, you know, on the planet. It's like, oh, Star Wars really isn't sci-fi, is it? Nor does it want to be. Stargates with MacGyver, but that's the point. Like, I, I, I see Dean, Michael Dean Thomas, Paul Thomas, Paul Thomas Dean, Dean, Dean Anderson, Cooper. I see the MacGyver guy on Stargate, and I'm just like, I just want to watch MacGyver. I want to see him take a, take a, the foil of a piece of gum, and with just, one or two household cleaning agents, you know, make some sort of explosive that could blow the the keyhole of of a jail and es and escape from captivity. I want to see that. Richard Dean Anderson. Yeah, I, I was I was almost there, Rex. <laughs> I was almost there. Did they ever try to make MacGyver a movie? There's Chris Davis. 2021 I think it was a movie that turned into a critically acclaimed show yes that's for the O's that'll be for Nathaniel but I I wonder if they ever tried to make a MacGyver movie would they make a MacGyver movie, or is that just... They, they made McGru MacGruber is actually kind of funny. But I feel like they should have made a MacGyver movie. Look at that. Scott Rowland. One out of ten. Scott Scott Rowland? Yeah, Scott Rowland. Red Scott Rowland. I don't think of him as a red. Justin Humphrey with the reds. There it is. Scott Rowland, a Hall of Famer? No, right? Yes? No? Is his eligibility gone? Maybe it's el maybe his eligibility is gone. What's up, Matt? What's going on? They don't need to make a MacGruber series. That's just too much. Just the old sketches are fine. No need to rehash McGruber. Um, I don't know who I, I don't know how to keep track of the high scores, Curtis. It's also turned off. Does it reset every time we turn it on and off? You need to come visit, and you need to figure help us figure all that out. Yeah. 
We, we saved the pinball machine from the remodel, the reorganization here at Jaspies, the card shop here, Hermosa Beach, California. We were, uh, I think the stacker machine is going into storage. No, stacker machine might stay. I think the ultimate arcade, which was basically a little computer with 100 games in it, I think is going into storage. And there was some discussion about the Avengers pinball machine also ending up in Jaspi storage. But I was like, no. The stacker machine. You've never seen stacker? So it's a grid pattern game where there's like a block that moves back and forth and then you drop it Tetris style down here. And then you and then there's another block that shows up and then you have to get it stack up the blocks all the way to the top and then there's like a you know BS prize and if you get to the super top then you get like amazing prize. That's the stacker game. This is the world of the world saying Womp. And I think at our shop, I don't think we've actually set it up for the public again yet. But usually there's like, you know, there'll be like, uh, kids, the kids love that game. The, like the lowest one will be like, maybe like some random, like pack of baseball cards or something like that. And like the top one, we would actually like hang like boxes of like, like five star on the very top or something like that. We had a, someone was really good at it. So one kid, I think, it, I think his name was like Quentin. Yeah, it was Mark and Quentin. But anyway, one, one a good customer of ours, his son, who also collects, I think it was his last summer, or before we everything shut down, but we had a box of like 2019 Bowman Chrome baseball sealed box of Bowman Chrome baseball or something like that. And there was one weekend where he won it. We were so we were so, we were happy for him because we were just like we didn't think anyone was gonna, was going to win that. And I don't think he put in very much money either. There's Archie Bradley Reds going to Justin. No, the transcendent case would not be at the top. Francisco Lindor relic uh, for Patrick and the Tribe. Another Nate Pearson in that 1986 baseball card design for Curtis and the Blue Jays. Remember, folks, all card ships, so I know I'm probably, you know, sliding past through. I'm trying not to do that intentionally, but just in the interest of time. But remember, all card ships, so you'll see everything. That's just facsimile autograph. That Scott Rowland was kind of cool. I want to buy... Um, by Star Wars pinball, I think I think those pinball machines are pretty are pretty ex expensive. Did I miss the entire Lakers game? I think I did. Wait, no, are they playing tomorrow? Right, they play the Grizzlies. That's right. 
There's a new Star Wars machine that's not that much. There's the Man of Steel, Ricky Henderson. Well, I, I would have no place to put it in my apartment. I'd have to donate it to the shop, to live, have it live at the shop, but we, now we've run out of room. There's Trevor Bauer, league leaders out of 50 for the Reds. Justin with the red legs. We've got rookie Brandon Belak. Some Mount Castles right there. Almost there, folks. Stay on target. I don't know what's on the schedule next, but there's stuff on the schedule. We are we are unfortunately booked for the night, ladies and gentlemen. Please check the schedule to see when your break is coming up. If it's not there, then it'll uh, be most likely be with me tomorrow at one o'clock Pacific, four o'clock Eastern. We've got Eloy Jimenez and a Sam Hilliard autograph. There's Eloy right there for the White Sox. Richard, three twenty nine out of twenty twenty one, and the autograph is Sam Hilliard. Rockies. That'll be for Cynthia and the Rocks. There you go. An autograph for you, Cynthia. Sometimes some crowds Go slipping through the cracks, but these two gun shoes are picking up the slack. There's no case to be. It's Joe Adele's, Mike Trout's teammate, Joe Adele. Right there, and there you go, boys and girls. Let's see what's in those exclusives. Those exclusives. Uh, let's do these uh, box loaders first. Can these be autographed? There's Buster Posey. I don't know if these, these can be autographed or not. I mean, there are facsimile autographs down there, but. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Well, the first few boxes, Rebel, that I was doing, I was definitely fooled by the through the years cards. I'd be like, oh my god, we go. I was like, oh no, that's that's gold label baseball. <laughs> that's not an autograph. Like, oh my eat your auto Oh This isn't Dynasty it's not Dynasty Baseball, it's series one. Then I ripped enough of this to, to kind of get used to it, but but I don't know. Sometimes when I'm in the zone of uh, when I'm just in the zone of breaking, like I'm not really paying attention. You know what I mean? I'm just looking at like the middle of the card and looking for names, and I just kind of see the autograph, and I automatically I'm like, hey, oh no, never mind. 
Hank Aaron. For the Braves, Colin, that's orange, 225. Tyler Stevenson, rookie. Lindor, Cooney Patino, and Chris Bubich for the Royals. And there you have it, ladies and gents. Obviously, this is a very long break, so give us an extra day or two or even three from when you would normally expect these. And, um, you know, it takes a little bit longer for us to sort everything out. All right. Now, got to give away a rip pack. Uh, a rip party pack, that is. Arthur with the Diamondbacks down to Josh and the Nationals and everybody in between. Put them into this blank list right here. Name on top gets it after 11 times. Five and a six, 11 times. And then uh, second name down, we'll get all the, uh, the tops history cards. One. Two, three, four. Ten and eleventh and final time after eleven. Big thanks to everybody who got into the action. Second name is going to get the uh, the tops history those history cards, and it's Steve Steve B. Steve Becker, I don't know if I called your name out too often, Steve. What team do you have? Twins? I don't know if there are too many twins here, but you do get that uh, Rip Party exclusive pack, and hopefully that'll, uh, that'll make up for it. All right. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. There is another case that's on the site right now. We'll, we'll probably be able to knock that out tomorrow. That Scott Rowland to 10 was pretty nice. So some pretty solid stuff, and a, and a, and a huge stack of... I know these are just the autographs and the relics, but that was a variation. That's a variation, crazy, wacky pants, and that's a very, and then it's just a ton of just regular rookie cards right here, and the silver pack uh, rookies as well. A lot of excellent stuff in Series 1, and it's really all about those rookie cards as well, So those and all card ship. That's pretty good. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.